Hey guys, welcome back to another Cell with Manuel vlog. Busy day today. Uh, it's Saturday, I have a lot going on. I just dropped off my mom at the airport. Right now I'm headed up to the Del Mar office because big news, um, I'm making a change. Hey guys, just got to the office and I'm gonna print out some flyers for the open house. Every time I, um, I do have an open house, I always like to print out flyers, something for any visitors to that come through the door that they could take home. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go and print them out. So what I would, um, typically do is I print out usually uh, three sets of flyers. I print out the home buying process, which is this one right here. Anyone coming in saying, hey, I'm looking to buy, I give them this uh, flyer right here. And I always wanna give them a flyer. You always, anyone, any agent out there, you always wanna give someone a flyer because they'll have your contact information. Let's see if you can see the, there you go. So that's super important. Second flyer I, uh, I I like to give is the um, the property flyer with take a look there you go property flyer right there again my contact info information is on there everyone likes to take these so this has all the property information on there so that's really important and the third one which I'm printing right now and I'll show you is um, looking to sell flyer. with all my contact information. So it's super important. So now you see three flyers. You have the property flyer, you have the home buying process flyer, and you have the home selling process. Wait, this is a home buying process. You have the home selling process flyer, and then why sell with Manuel. So it's, these are three flyers, super important. I use them for every single open house. And obviously I have business cards as well that I hand out, but all these flyers have my information, which is super important because, you know, whenever they go and they throw it in their car or leave it at home and you always want them to take a flyer, even if they just leave it in the car, super important, your information is on there and uh, you'll just be top of mind if they're interested in buying or selling. So yeah, let's uh, wrap this one up. That's a wrap at the Del Mar office. Honestly, uh, one of the reasons for the move was, um, it was this Del Mar office is, it's amazing. Management is awesome, can't complain. I honestly, one of the coolest um, offices I've ever worked out of, but the team and I decided it was just best to make the move to downtown. One, we get an office space, like an actual office, which we can film content out of, Two, it's closer to home with these crazy, crazy gas prices. Sorry, this is this thing is so heavy, so heavy. Uh, with these gas prices and everything, you know, Del Mar is an hour 20 drive with another baby on the way. You know, I want to be closer to home and I think everyone on the team does too. And the, the downtown office just made more sense, to be honest. It made more sense uh, for where we're at right now. We're still growing. And, uh, and so yeah, it's, uh, it's not like I can't work out of this office in here in Del Mar anymore. Um, I can actually work out of any Compass office, but now my name and our team's name will be attached to the downtown office as our headquarters. So, um, so that's pretty awesome right now. Jesus, I'm running out of breath here. This thing is so heavy, it weighs like 100 pounds. Right now I'm headed over to uh, Escondido, which is like a 30 minute drive from here, from Del Mar. 
I'm gonna go show new property. Uh, that's it, that's, uh, that's gonna be fun. It's always fun seeing brand new property all staged, all nice and everything. So we're gonna go and check it out. This is the Eclipse new development. Uh, we just saw floor plan two, and I'll probably go and check out floor plan one as well, which this one's a two bedroom, two and a half bath, little under 1,300 square feet, so it's not bad. Like I said, they'll be done in, uh, hopefully, in, by, the end of, uh, by the end of August, that's what they're telling us, so we'll see. Let's go check out the other one, see if anything changes. I think the layout might change a little bit. So this is floor plan one, which is a little bit smaller. This is a little over 1,100 square feet. Floor plan two is a little under 1,300 square feet. Again, still same finishes, uh, just a tad bit smaller. Uh, and you can kind of notice it, you actually notice it more in, uh, in the rooms, just like this one, this room feels quite a bit smaller than floor plan two. Um, but again, they'll, uh, they'll be done in April. I'm just waiting for my client when she called me and she said that she's actually just pulling up, pulling up and parking. So I'm gonna log off for a little bit, go help her out and uh, show her the place, talk to the people here at the office. And then from here, we're jumping over to um, the open house. So just wrapped up the showing here with my client. Um, unfortunately, they didn't like it. They didn't like the layout. Um, but more than anything, they didn't like that it was three stories, which we already knew it was three stories, but, um, you know, everything right now here in San Diego, at least, is being built vertically, uh, you know, space saving, you can build more units if you build vertically, it all seems to be geared towards three stories. Um, there's a, not, a lot of new developments that are putting in elevators to kind of uh, be able to attract more of the older generation um, which this is the case with my clients they just sold a place in Texas and they're looking to uh, move out here but they are looking for their forever home and three stories without an elevator just doesn't work out for them they thought it did for some reason they saw it they're like no you know what sorry man well it's not gonna work out it is what it is uh, that's real estate life sometimes they say yes sometimes they say no but we're still looking I'm still sending them properties I'm still touching base with them and it's important to to keep following up with them and um, eventually they'll buy um, I know that but uh, but yeah staying top of mind right now I'm headed down towards uh, Mission Bay hey guys so I'm here at the open house uh, I just set up my open house signs and uh, I've been here now for an hour I just got so busy with uh, open house guests we've uh, I've been here for an hour and we've gotten maybe like 12 groups of people come through and that's just the way the market is right now. Open houses just seem to be flooded with people, which is awesome. I love to see that. I love to interact with people and kind of talk to them face to face. It's different than, you know, post COVID, it was awesome. And then COVID hit and it's like, okay, it's all like online and virtual showings, virtual open houses. Now, finally, we're back on track, back in action, back in front of people. And uh, I think it's important for, for our sanity and as agents, I, I just enjoy being in front of people and talking face to face. Uh, but I've been here uh, now for an hour, caught a little bit of a break, no one coming in right now. And uh, this is, uh, the address is 2047 Avati Drive. This home, a little backstory on this home, it's located here in Bejo area, which Bejo is kind of like a center point of San Diego. So you're kind of 15 minutes away from everything. You're 15 minutes away from UTC, from La Jolla. You're about 20 minutes away from Del Mar, 15 minutes away from Mission Valley, about 10 minutes away from 
uh, downtown San Diego and about 25 minutes away from the San Ysidro border into Tijuana. But this house went on the market about three days ago. It's uh, listed for a million three hundred forty-nine thousand. It's a four-bedroom, two and a half bath, two thousand twenty-two square feet, and it was fully, fully renovated. Uh, the owner of this house was actually uh, renovated, thinking about herself, thinking about staying here as her forever home. She's been living here for for about five five years, yeah. And she, they moved out for six, seven months, renovated the whole place. She's in construction, so you know for a fact everything was really well done. And um, they renovated the place, they moved back in, and then she got a job offer out East Coast in Nashville. So unfortunately, 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 she had to list. So uh, we're here at the open house, beautiful place. I wanna show it to you guys. So take a look at this property, take a look at what, 1,349,000 gets you out here in San Diego. Let's go. house I enjoy doing this so much I met so many great people we had about 32 groups come through the open house which is nuts I expect even more tomorrow so tomorrow I'll be holding an open house again here 1 to 4 p.m. Um, and it's fun especially when the house looks this good I mean you guys saw it in the video but um, you know, in this, in, at least here in the San Diego market, anything listed above 1.25 is considered luxury. And I enjoy, I always, you know, when it comes to open houses, I try and stay above the $1 million list price, anywhere from one to two to $3 million. And just because you always get so many people walk through the door, you uh, have different conversations. Some are looking to sell, some are looking to just buy, some are looking to invest in a property like this as it, that it's fully flipped. You don't get too many investors come through the door. But you do get people who are renting, uh, especially, you know, because we're close to uh, Little Italy and the downtown area. Maybe they're renting in downtown Little Italy, but they're looking to stay within this area and they don't want to live in a condo anymore. So they're looking for, you know, homes like this. Maybe they're looking to start a family. So it's, uh, it, I enjoy doing, doing this so much. And the title of this, uh, this vlog is Day in the Life. And every day is different. And that's why I think I enjoy so much about being a real estate agent that even though my days are, are structured uh, pretty similarly, though, like I'll do most of the most of the usual things every single day, but sometimes you have showings up in Escondido, sometimes you have uh, open houses, sometimes you have buyer consultations, sometimes you have seller consultations, sometimes you're out flowering, sometimes you're out you're uh, out filming videos just like this one, sometimes you're at home filming educational videos. So every day is different, but it's kind of. I don't know how to say it as a, as a real estate agent. I wake up, you know, I send out my emails, I do my marketing. And so the day is structured very similar, like every single day, but that comes with, um, with a lot behind it, right? So it, every single day is different. So that's why I like putting these day in the life uh, vlogs. Uh, I like doing them uh, every, you know, every couple months because every day is different and I enjoy doing them for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed it, and you guys made it this far in the video, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. It means the world to me. And, uh, but we're not done. We're not done. The day in the life still goes. So right now I go back home, I jump on my computer. I'll email every single uh, person that came through a door that left me their contact information. I'll either email them or I'll shoot them a text thanking them for coming to my open house, 
having or uh, asking them if they had any more questions because in open houses like this, there's so many people that walk through the door that you don't get a chance to talk to every single one of them. They, sometimes, I mean, you get people that they don't want to talk to, they just walk in, they see you. Sometimes you get neighbors who are just looky loos, we, which we got a, a lot of today. Um, more, than, more than what I thought. Usually it's like two or three today out of the 32 people that came, that came through. It was more like, more like six or seven neighbors. So they're always curious, especially when a home is renovated and they've seen like the home being renovated. They're like, ooh, I want to go see, you know, kind of um, how it all came out and maybe they live in the same floor plan and they want to see and they want to see where they're priced at. I had a lot, surprisingly, I also had a, a lot of people who recently bought in this neighborhood and they felt like they, they bought overpriced. So now they're seeing this home. Uh, it just, there's so many, there's just so many variables when it comes to buying, especially the time of the year that you buy. But they're like, ooh, I bought for 1.5, but mine needed work and mine was a little bit bigger so than this one so then they walk through and they're like why is this listed for 1349 when it's fully rented there's just so many things and this is why i enjoy so much uh doing open houses because you have so many different conversations with people um and so uh so yeah but the day is not over i go home i send out emails i send out text messages and uh, right now it's 4 30 so heading home I have my dad coming uh, over for dinner. We're going to watch a uh, motocross race on, on TV. And while we're watching it, I'll do my video. I'll do my uh, emails and my text messages. But yeah, thanks for watching this vlog. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you're an agent. Uh, what city are you an agent in? If you're in San Diego, shoot me a DM. Let's connect. If you're in a different city, shoot me a DM. Let's connect. I'm always happy to talk to different agents in different markets. Everyone does things differently. Uh, what I do, maybe a, an agent out on the East Coast in Pittsburgh or Boston, it, it's everything's done totally different. So comment below, I'm curious to know. Um, and I'm always happy to connect with new people. If you're thinking about getting into real estate, also comment below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. And like I said, every day is different. And that's why I film these vlogs for you guys. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching another vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wait, is this thing recording? Yeah, it was recording. Peace.